I think that um, uh, it reinforces and in the studio, and I feel like the, it feels so amazing to so talk to talk about that because I felt like something that I I knew was uh, that they're a risk studio, and they uh, believed in me and then the script and also this team so uh, deeply that there was a you know like I got to have a final cut, I got to have a thought authorship that you dream of as a filmmaker uh, for my first favorite feature. So to me, in that way, I'm just so grateful. And I know everybody here feels the same way. They're so happy I want them. Jim Alexander with Real Talker. Celine, the film ends abruptly. Did you envision, and anyone can kind of answer this, what the future of these characters is going forward after kind of the years later, maybe? <laughs> So to me, the film is actually uh, about the way that these three people get to have the happy ending that they want. And in, in that way, it is a completely a discovery for all three of them. Uh, so for example, uh, for Nora, you know, I don't think that she knew, knew that she needed to say goodbye to her 12-year-old self before her friend came to visit her. So she finally got to say goodbye to her 12-year-old girl self. And I think that's such an amazing ending for her. And I think for his mom, he came here to close the door on a connection that she he felt as a young boy. And what an amazing thing that he got to also say goodbye to his uh, child, his sweetheart, as a young boy himself. And I think that finally, for Arthur, it was an amazing happy ending because he wants more than anything to know his wife better. And uh, he actually gets to meet his wife as a 12 year old girl. So, what an amazing thing that all three of them get to have the uh, happy ending that they uh, believed in and they wanted and they fought for. Thank you so much. Congratulations on this amazing, amazing picture. Uh, I watched it twice back to back and I loved it so much. Can you tell, as a first time feature director, what would be one advice to give to other first time feature directors that they must follow to make such a fantastic film, besides being so much talented as you are? I would say that uh, work with people who uh, believe in you and people that you love, like the people that are on stage here. And I think that that would be the first thing. It is like you know, it all has to come down to being able to see these people every day uh, on set, and then to know that they have your back and you have theirs. And we just, and I think that that part of it is like, it, it's at the end of the day, it's about who you surround yourself with, who you, who you trust, and who you believe in. And I feel so lucky and happy. And this past lives couldn't exist without uh, these people here who with me every step of the way and they believe in us and then I you know and we believe in this movie together. That's how past lives is able to exist. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.